In this video, we will look into class module in VBA. So here, we will say insert class module and here we will declare some variables public x as integer public y as integer and private z as integer so these are the variables we have declared now we will declare the function function add as integer and function now here we will add the x and y z is equal to x plus y and add is equal to z so we are passing that z to add now similar way we will have function multiply as integer and function z is equal to x into y and multiply is equal to z so now we have created this class module so this one is the class and here is the name so i'll just give it as my class so this is the my class we have created now let us go to the sheet one here we will create a subroutine sub my test so here we will use that class now dim c1 as new my class now c1 dot because those are x and y are public variables we can see them here and z is private variable so we can't see it here so we will give the x c1 dot x is equal to 5 and c1 dot y is equal to 4 now i'll print the debug dot print c1 dot i'll call the function add so for with add function 5 and 4 will be added 5 plus 4 is 9 and then debug dot print c1 dot multiply here 5 and 4 will be multiplied that is 5 into 4 is 20 so 9 and 20 has to be printed in this immediate window here down here so now let us run now click on run so here you see 9 and 20 has been printed so what we have done is we have created a class where we have declared these variables x and y are public variables and z is a private variable because from the user point of view user is entering only x and y variables and here z is equal to x plus y is the addition that is being done and z is equal to x into y is the multiplication that is being done and that total product is being passed on to either add or to the multiply functions which we are calling from this in the sheet one we have the subroutine here we are calling those functions and uh, the appropriate action is being taken on these two variables x and y and we are getting the result in the immediate window 9 and 20 so this is the how we can use a class module in VBA. 
Now we will use public property let and public property get in class. Let us go to class, my class. And here we will make these as private variables. Private x as integer. Private y as integer. And here we will give the public property. Let let's take first num val as integer. So end property. So we'll pass this val to x. So one more public property let we'll have the second num val as integer y is equal to val now we have to get these values so here we'll just change this function to public property get add as integer and this one would be end property it automatically change now this one i'll change it to public property get multiply as integer and this one change to end property so we have changed this my class. Now let us go to the sheet one and in the subroutine we will add dim c1 as new my class. So c1 dot now x and y are private variables so they are not visible. So x dot first num is equal to 5. Let us delete this y dot second num is equal to 4. And these remain same c1 dot add and c1 dot multiply debug dot print. Now let us run this. Let me delete this so that it will print again. Let us go up and see nothing is there. So this is empty now. Now we'll run it and it should print the same. Now run this. So 9 has been printed and 20 has been printed so here in this case we have used the public property in my class and we have made them all of them as private variables and access those variables through this let and get properties because we made them public they are visible from the sheet one so this is the way you can use the class module by making the variables as private and the user can only see the properties now let us create one more object e2 as new my class now here i'll let this c1 remain as it is and let me delete this immediate window so that when we run it we'll have a fresh window here so here i'll say c2 dot first num is equal to 7 and c2 dot second num is equal to 6 is equal to 6 and debug dot print c2 dot add debug dot print c2 dot multiply so this is end of class object
this is the first class object and this is the second class object here it will be 7 plus 6 is 13 and 7 into 6 is 42 so let us run this and see now I run this so now you can see first one is 5 plus 4 is 9 and 5 into 4 is 20 the second class object c2 7 plus 6 is 13 here and 7 into 6 is 42 so for a class we can create multiple objects and uh, give multiple values so that's how you can use class to create multiple objects please like share and subscribe to sql bi bytes channel